presents Atlantic Coast Conference Basketball. This is Jim Packer with Billy Packer from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina with the championship game, North Carolina State versus Maryland. Brought to you by... This game is brought to you by the Pilot Life Insurance Company and your Pilot Life representative. Taps to the big control by Maryland. Grabbed by Roy. Maryland is in the red and the dark. North Carolina State in the white. So we'll set them up for you as we get going. That's Luke, number 15, freshman guard for Maryland. Darrell Brown, number 33, man for man defense by State. This is Howard White, a senior, getting a rare start this year. That's Tom McMillan, 54. McMillan. Rebound, Maryland. He led the Atlantic Coast Conference in rebounding this year. No score. State has the ball for the first time. Maryland. Man for man. Long one by Thompson. Too long. Teams may just be a bit tight. They are running. That is Lucas. Picked up and in by Darrell Brown. Two to nothing. Carroll is in the lead. That's Burleson. Started inside the Roy. Here's Cafferty. Joe Cafferty. He's one of the outside hot shots for the Wolfpack. Ties it up at two all. First time. Of course. McMillan trying to work on Burleson. Remember, they had Burleson in foul trouble. That's White. They're down by Hope. Now the Wolfpack has a chance for first lead, and they've got little Monty Cow that Now it's White and down with Lucas. Lucas, great drive. Tim Howard White gives uh, Maryland an unusual matchup. Monty Cow and Howard White going after each other, two quick players. Lucas is the fellow that likes to handle top. Burleson inside grabs the air. He gets an easy shot. Tommy just pivoted around. He might have been surprised he was left that open, but it ties it up for the second time. Normally with Bob Bodell in the lineup, we would find Joe Cafferty on Bodell. Now moving over and playing Sam Lucas. Great tap in by Tom McMillan. Maryland leads again, six to four. David Thompson walks. Turnover now to Maryland in backcourt for the first the lead, six to four. Jim, this matchup we have right here with Tom Burleson and McMillan. Burleson is going to allow McMillan to handle the ball inside and then just try to keep him off the board. So far, he's had a rough time. Rebound by Kuzma. Six to four. North Carolina State trailing by two, looking for the tie. Mark Muller. Muller's been a real bonus this year for the Wolfpack. Wasn't figured too highly at the end of last season, but he really blossomed, and he's been a key part of the Wolfpack plan. Six to six, four tie, third time. Howard White, he has the green light. He's getting a rare start. That's the second time he's let it go from out the outside. Still there's your half-court zone you were talking back. Now they need a leader to the man. The Thompson, look at that leaping. Burleson finds two small, the open man, and taps up. Up again, Tommy Burleson. That ties the score for the fourth time as the team straight baskets here in the first four minutes. The state has now Burleson out of there. We'll see what happens when he comes back in. Patrick. As you mentioned, Jim, without Burleson in the game, you don't have to do too many things abnormally for the simple reason that you can match up fairly well, especially these two ball clubs. State playing its tight, sticking man-to-man defense. You know, Cafferty now has got on Howard White. He's an outside threat, works off the screen, tried to dump inside to Roy. A lead to Cafferty. Blocked by Darrell Brown, a goaltending is ruled here. So Cafferty gets credit for his third basket. And North Carolina State goes to lead 12 to 10 as Jim O'Brien to in the lineup for Maryland for the first time. Billy? 
We'll see Daryl Brown go up here and get the ball. Lenny Elmore, who's a shot blocker himself, didn't like that call from the sidelines, but any shot blocker likes to see the shot block rather than the goaltend, I'm sure. The tough call, of course, uh, it's always just within you know, fractions of an inch of being one or the other. There goes O'Brien, a good drive. Neither team holding back at the opening minutes. Bonnie Town. Good on O'Brien. Scores tied 12 to 12. Inside, Howard White. Brown, and it's off the hand of Burleson, battling with Brown. Tim, both of these teams can afford to play with such reckless abandon because of the depth they have on the bench. Otherwise, I think they would run themselves right out of here. The pace is uh, very frantic at this point. Burleson got caught again on that McMillan hook. Six points for Tom McMillan. 14-14, a tie. 11 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Now, Jim, here we can see that Maryland is going into a little bit of box and one activity with O'Brien on Thompson, trying to keep him away from the ball, and so far they've done a fine job. Well, Monty Tell has the answer for that zone action. Billy, I don't think the entire nation will ever forget the first meeting between these two this year. No, it was one of the classic college games of the year. We're going to see right now, with O'Brien out of the game, whether Owen Brown is going to be back in the regular zone defense. It looks like they will be. They'll try to go to a little 2-3 activity with three big men under the basket. Tommy Burleson. Six points for Burleson. State has its biggest lead. Here comes Bordell. Burleson goaltender. Bordell gets credit for the basket. And there's a foul on the play against Mark Muller. Billy? Here we're going to see Mark Muller. He gets Bob Bodell. Tom Burleson goes up and once again trapping the ball on the backboard, bringing up the goaltending violation. Tim, the one thing, the boxing one is usually very successful against a fellow who has to score for his team to win. With NC State, as we know, David Thompson doesn't have to get 40 for them to be successful as Burleson and these other fellows can pick up the slack offensively. It's a good point, Bill. They have great balance, uh, even with Thompson. Lloyd Brown. Tommy Burleson inside. State leading by three, 20 to 17. And holds open. Rebound is off by Owen Brown. John Lucas. Look at that pass by Tal. Nick Holt with a great fake. Looked like he had eyes in the back of his head. He saw Lucas coming. Five point lead by North Carolina State is the Wolf Pack ticket. Screen. Bob Roy, almost oh, with him, and Roy follows. Rebound, Burleson. Tommy's having one of his better games. Long pass to Noose. Six point lead by North Carolina State is the biggest yet, 28 to 22. Bo Howard. Rebound loose for North Carolina State. You know the Wolfpack's going to give it 110% in this one. This is the final game. A good deal by Lucas. Lucas. He's one of the greatest change of pace drivers I've ever seen, Bill. He is. He has a great change of pace and real quick. That tennis ability of his showed up there with a lateral movement and good quick hands on Monty Tau. Tommy Burleson is so hot. 12 points for the 7 4 Olympian Tommy Burleson. 32 26. It's the outstanding feature of this North Carolina State team, I think, that is the way they play together, looking for the open man. There's Lucas. You know, he has that unusual shot. He doesn't leave his feet. He doesn't jump with it. It's kind of an old-fashioned set shot. Africa on the move. Rebound down by Roy for Maryland. 
Well, and there's a chance to cut it down to two now with three and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's 32 28 state. I'm sure Norm is not going to come out there with a the lead in this first half, and Lefty's going to have his team hold the ball for a while. Just trying to keep right in the position he is now. Yeah, to do his passion, pass it past that little dark mark you see over there, and that's what they're doing right now. O'Brien is stationed, and that uh, fits the letter of the law. Jim, this uh, favors NC State because they have their two best ball players sitting on the bench, and if they can go in with the lead, and Thompson and Burleson both in a situation where they're not in extreme foul trouble, NC State's in a much better position. So Maryland would have a chance here to attack the ball club that's not it with its strength. And I was normally fell asleep here, Bill. I'm just kidding, of course, but you can see Norman. He's just sitting there. He was coach of the year this year at the Atlantic Coast Conference. He's been coach of the year in about every league in the Southeast. What Maryland's going to do right now is to set up a specific play, quite possibly either for Lucas or O'Brien. That's going to be Lucas stopping to Roy. 34 seconds to go, first half. North Carolina State leads by two. Now they're going to set it up again. What they do right here, of course, is send the guards through, and they try to get the screen by one of the big men to have the guard available for the shot in the corner. And like we say, the two best shooters out there are going to be Lucas and O'Brien. So I'm sure they're going to set it down here and work for the last shot, Jim, possibly taking it somewhere around five to six seconds. And, of course, they could penetrate, try to dump it off to McMillan inside. Five seconds, four. That's O'Brien. Billy Wade has called it. McMillan taps in up high. McMillan beats the buzzer on a tap in right ahead of the horn. And it's an even up ball game. That's the horn hitting the first half. And the score at the end of the first half is North Carolina State 32 and Maryland 32. And now to early second half action. 38-38, another fast tempo here as the second half is on the fire. With David Thompson in foul trouble, we'll expect to see this more often. Tom Roy going inside. Thompson will have to be very careful guarding a big fellow inside. 40-32, Maryland's up by two. Bill Evans uh, had a point from David Thompson. That's safe. As Bruce, great pure shooter is Steve Bruce. 40-40, the 12th tie of the game. Billy, this guard is identical to the outset of the game. Just back and forth. Certainly is. We see Howard White trying to go inside right now. And once again, as we pointed out, with David Thompson in foul trouble, Maryland is going to have to go to Roy to make Thompson get into foul trouble. Well, that's a great ploy by Lefty Drizelle. We'll see how uh, North Carolina State counters here. That's Mark Kohler for State. Good rebound by Rick Holt. Blocked by Roy. And I thought there was a charging foul there, but there wasn't. Officials are awfully good, uh, Philly, watching those plays. That's off the finger of Farrell Brown. 44-40, Maryland's leading by four. Now Maryland's straight man-to-man -man defense. Thompson still has a score now he has. First basket by David Thompson comes at 16.05 of the second half, and a two-over by Maryland. Now State quickly has a chance to get even. 44-42, the turf lead cuts to a basket. Back to four minutes gone in the second half. There's a whistle on McMillan. Third foul on Tom McMillan. Now well, you can bet the fans are up on this one. Important game from both standpoints. Well, I think Lefty was giving the press a little ribbing yesterday when he said the game didn't mean much to him. He might just give it to Norm Sloan so he could have an undefeated season. Now we see Maryland back in his zone activity right now. Lefty Stell changing some defense. Well, now down for goaltending. There are two leapers there, David Thompson and Darrell Brown. Second basket by Thompson. Full court press by State. High score, 44-44, Howard White. And there's Lucas, the guard, in there again. Stolen by Cal. Eight. North Carolina 
Ohio State back in the lead, 46 to 44. Two point lead by North Carolina State. The Al Millen's got a three on two advantage. Lucas to Darrell Brown. Last play, Thompson. That shows the versatility defensively of David Thompson. He went way up with Darrell Brown, who is also an outstanding leaper. Tony Dawson. Again, McMillan rebound. Bullison ties him up. And right here in Norm Sloan would rather see Bullison back down the court, but Tom's going to take advantage of the fact that Tom McMillan fell down, and we'll see Bullison keep control of himself, take the ball away from John Lucas, who has some of the fastest hands in the league, and come out dribbling on both knees. Tom Roy. Bullison with a fantastic block. Billy, would you say this might be Tommy's best game ever? I think defensively, Maryland's taking the ball to him, giving him the opportunity. To him. There was Deke Thompson once again, and even though they were winning the box and won that time, he went over Darrell Brown. Ten-point lead now North Carolina State, trying to work in command here with 10.20 to go in the game. Up by 10. The widest margin by far of either team. McMillan, as we told you, he has lane. 18 points for Tommy. You can't fault uh, Burleson on that play. McMillan is the great shooter. If you go out with two fouls, he'll probably drive around you. So I think it was a good play by both players. Good go. Burleson has started with Tim Stoddard scoring. First basket by Stoddard. Eight players have scored for North Carolina State. 62-52. Both packed up by 10. Ball by the way, but Lucas recovers. There goes Lucas. Whistle. First goal foul. Burleson fourth. And that should be a key factor because nine minutes. 40 seconds speed, and now a decision for Norman Sloan. I'm sure. Still have Maryland in the box and one. Now Owen Brown taking David Thompson, and we're going to see NC State hold the ball for a little while here. Calculated move on their part with Burleson out. Norm Sloan would like that clock to move. Pretty smart move, Bill. They're going to make Maryland either go to man for man or spread it out. At the same time, they're going to run off some time with Burleson resting. Now, Maryland's going to go to their 1-3, one, 1-half one court trap. Came up with a good play by Bob Odell, a steady defensive ball player. Lucas, stopping to Roy, whistle, basket good, personal foul. Tim, what I think Maryland's going to do now is work on their inside game. As we pointed out, they have one of the best big teams in the, in the country in the ball game right now with Roy, Owen Brown, and Tom McMillan. They have superior height advantage. Let's look for NC State to try to slow things down a little bit. Working strictly with Thompson. Maryland back in the box and one. Owen Brown on top. See Thompson there, number 44. Brown going with him. Everybody else is on. Here's Thompson. There's a whistle. Personal foul on Owen Brown. He bumped him. That's uh, personal number one on Owen Brown. The third team foul. Now, Jim NC State, as we've seen all year, likes to run with that ball at every opportunity. But we're getting to the point now where if they can retain that six-point lead, we might see them go into a freeze a little early. You may be reading, reading Sloan's mind, Billy. Just call for a timeout with 4.23 to go on a six-point lead. Well, here's what we anticipated. Norm Sloan wants to slow things down a bit with 2.25 or 2.20 to go, and he has a four-point lead. Now Maryland's either going to have to go 1-3-1 one, one, half-court zone press or decide to pick up man-to-man. Minute -man. 15 to go, and State wants foul here handling the ball. Minute 10 to go, State leading by four, going for an unprecedented job to beat season for North Carolina State. Minute three. Jim, and the object for NC State is to keep the ball out of the corner, although they picked up a foul on that occasion. O'Brien third, and now it'll be the one-and-one one free throw. Rebound by McMillan. So Maryland's got a chance now with 55 seconds to go. They're trailing by four. Lucas will take it. Now the two with 46 seconds to go. And Maryland stops the clock with 45 seconds remaining. Maryland calls timeout in the trailing by just one basket. Well, Norman Sloan's put in his best ball handlers or has them in there. Marty Chow, Joe Cafferkey, 
Tim Stoddard. Maryland pressing. Clock starts and it comes inbound. Stoddard in backcourt is fouled by Jim O'Brien. That basket will not be allowed. The clock stops with 39 seconds to go. So Stoddard is up now with a pressure for the one and one. And he comes through. A bonus shot coming for Stoddard. Three-point lead. 73-70. 39 seconds just to play. Up by four. 74 to 70. 35 seconds. Lucas. Blocked by Thompson. Put up by Bodell. 39 seconds to go. And again, Maryland stops the clock. Bodell follows once more. Pulls the Terrapins within two. And with 28 seconds to go now, time becomes more of a critical element. And Maryland has used up all of its time out. So, stay with a two-point lead. 15 seconds. Effective freezing. 10 seconds. The seller of a foul on Daryl Brown, fouling uh, David Thompson. Well, now David Thompson shouldering the pressure here. This young All-American held to one of his lowest totals of the season. And Thompson now has pulled the margin back to three, and it's 75-72. Nine seconds to go. Bonus shot, Thompson. There's Lucas. Two-point lead, but only four seconds to go. And it is in to Thompson with one second, and that's it. North Carolina State has done it. A two-point victory over the University of Maryland. And a perfect season for the Wolfpack of Norman Sloan, who in this uh, band of uh, Wolfpackers have reached their dream as the University of Maryland. Certainly not with anything to be shamed of here in this game. Played it right to the wire, and the Terps weren't beaten until the final second had tipped off. A truly fantastic game for the ACC championship. Won by North Carolina State, 76 to 74, in a battle here of Two of the nation's outstanding teams, David Thompson, being congratulated by Betty Beatenbach of the coaching staff under Norman Sloan. This is the final game for North Carolina State, the end of the road for them, but they made it a glorious season. 27 consecutive victories, not in any of the great years of Bob Everett Case of North Carolina State with the Wolfpack team able to go through a season without a loss. Not even a matter of fact in this rich history as North Carolina State even had an undefeated season at home, believe it or not. But this year, they won them all. A team that was placed on probation by the NCAA before the season began because of recruiting violations. And they went to work rather than losing their momentum or their interest in the game or their desire. This team rallied around that point. And under Norman Sloan's coaching, they pulled themselves together with a common purpose and a common goal. And that was to be, as they stated, before their first game. And there goes the coach of the year, Norman Sloan. And what a happy moment for him. Uh, this is all that they could shoot for. But their avowed goal before the season began was to be undefeated and to be ranked number two in the nation. That was their fondest hope. They had conceded that UCLA had one of the most unusually great teams ever assembled. And North Carolina State now has done that. Now it's up to UCLA, of course, to see if it can defend its national title. Atlantic Coast Conference Basketball is produced by Castleman D. Chesley and brought to you by... This game is brought to you by the Pilot Life Insurance Company and your Pilot Life representative.